out of bed each morning feel the sunlight hit my eyes i guess that means it's time to get up and do it again i put on my suit and tie be applying its choke hold on my life it's so hard to move when nothing ever changes tired of grinding i'm losing my mind just gotta keep going find purpose in time what's it all for what's it all for what do i keep going every day i feel i'm dreaming life I'm losing track of time what's it all for what's it all for i feel like i'm dying every day i can't escape this hell even when i'm doing well watch out world i'm falling can you just take a second sit down with your roommate eat breakfast sorry i'm in a rush i'll have to take it on the go it's time that you quit your moping and take control over your life but how can i move on when i'm just feeling so tired of fighting i'm losing my mind just gotta keep going find purpose in time what's it all for So stood David before Goliath, his briefcase drawn, daring the giant to move. <laughs> Shut up, asshole. I'm mentally preparing. It's just the same shit. <sighs> Another thankless day. They give you a paycheck, don't they? I mean, yeah. Sounds like thanks enough to me. I just wish that paycheck was enough to get out of that thankless apartment. You're still living with that walking mold spore? Ugh. Yeah. He made me breakfast today. I was too afraid to touch him. Mm -hmm. Those were his hands. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. I mean, just think. After today, those rotten hands will seem like a thing of the past. Yeah. Only if I get the promotion. I mean, come on. At this point, the only thing you don't have is the title. I mean, that mansion job last month? Genius. <laughs> it wasn't that good. When are you going to find it admit that you're the best damn junior associate of Gladwater? Maybe tomorrow. But a time like the present. Teach me how I should forget to think. I'm being so dramatic. Good of you to finally join us, Julian. Uh, but I'm four minutes early. Making you six minutes late. I'm in a good mood today. So I'll let it slide. Have a seat. I've never seen that girl in such a good mood. I think we've got this promotion in the bag. Maybe you can take me out for a drink after work to celebrate. Yeah. I Julian, was... this is a board meeting, not social hour. Yes, sir. Now, down to business. Specifically, the manner of the new head of marketing and public relations. 
The board has reviewed all of your applications and interviews. Took them long enough. And after much discussion, we have reached a decision. One that will assuredly launch Blackwater Industries firmly into the Fortune 500. You're all fired. What? Are you kidding? Who came here? Some sort of joke. This is ridiculous. From this day forward, BI will be outsourcing all design operations to Burke and Associates. Katie will have your final paychecks ready at the front. Best of luck to you all. Will we be at least getting severance? With a company like Blackwater on your resume, you'll find new jobs in no time. Sky dark, torn apart. Lightning strikes my heart. Moonlight, won't you shine bright? But the clouds break your sight. I've been sitting here for hours, wondering. It's gonna end Rain, rain, go away You're here to stay And my skies are gray And my skies Sky dark, torn apart Lightning strikes my heart Moonlight, won't you shine bright But the clouds break your sight I've been sitting here for hours, wondering gonna end Rain, rain Go away You're here to stay And my Skies are gray And my Skies are gray What's this? Some uh, liquid courage for whichever path you need to go. Uh, I think you could use a drink more. I mean, you, you look like shit. How? Why don't we get a few more in ya and you can tell me what you really think? I, 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 I didn't mean you look ugly. I, I just do look sad. Like a beautiful sad? Like sad song? That was maybe the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me. <laughs> Alcohol brings out my inner pub. You see that? So, uh... Do you often find yourself staring into the abyss, or is this a special occasion? I guess you could say that. Wanna talk about it? I don't want to bother you with my problems. Come on, I bought you a drink. The least you could do is put out. Uh, it's, it's, it's stupid. 
afraid to bear yourself in front of a stranger. Are you just trying to get in my pants? No, I'm trying to get in your head and see what's got you tied up in knots. Uh, tell you what. If I show you mine, will you show me yours? <laughs> well, that is definitely the first time a beautiful girl has said that to me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's just start with names. I'm Julie. Thanks. Well, my uh, fiance left me with only a month till the wedding. The bastard. Eh, but you don't know all the facts. He's not the one who called his mother a bitch for ordering the wrong flowers, or who threw a remote at his head when he was late for dinner. Or who, um, cheated on him with his best friend. That doesn't sound like you. You've known me for what, all of two minutes? You think you're qualified to make that judgment? Well, I've dated a fair amount of bitches in my day. And not very many of them would buy a stranger a drink just to coax him off the ledge. Doesn't mean I'm doing a good job at it. Well, I guess you got a point. Well? Am I doing a good job? Yeah. Will not jumping get me my job back? No. Will it make me feel any less worthless? Probably not. Then I could say you could uh, use some work on your pet blocks. Yeah. Damn. That water was looking awful appetizing right now. You're telling me. Screw it! I don't have anything better to do tonight. Let's just do it! Come on! Let's start doing me! Suicide One, two, me three. right now? Neither of us have anything left to live for anymore. Might as well make sure we don't die alone. You seem like a good person. So do you. I, I can't have your death. Oh my god. For all you know, you could be doing me all the favor. I mean, you're her and my soft story. And somehow, I still think there's some hope left for you. Funny. I find myself thinking the same about you. Listen, life sucks. Hell, we suck, but that doesn't mean we give up, okay? We just. We need to find. something to believe in. We need to try something different. Tell me something. No. Honestly. Is all this just a ploy to get me not to jump? Depends. Depends? If I jump, are you still jumping? I got my life on it. Well, then it worked. Good. So, since you don't have a date with the riverbed anymore, why don't we get a couple drinks on me? Oh, it better be, because I don't know if you heard, but... But he's a little tight right now, so... No, oh, I did hear something about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a long time. Me neither. So are you starting to feel better about not jumping yet? Uh, I'm starting to see the advantages of staying alive. Good. But if you ever need a suicide button. I don't actually think I'm gonna be needing this anytime soon. Oh well then I'll just I'll just take that. I'll, I'll take no, it. No 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 I want a number. Suit yourself. Holy shit! Where did you come from? How did you get in my room? Check around, Toto. You ain't in Kansas anymore. 
Got yourself a good old thirsty Thursday, huh? Oh, uh, more like a just get through it Thursday. Don't look now, but your Friday's not faring any better. You're gonna be late for work. <laughs> Can't be late to a job you no longer have. Man, that's some bad luck. What happened? You know, just decided not to be a corporate shill anymore. Take down the patriarchy or whatever you hippies do. First off, we're called lazy good-for-nothings. Hippie makes it sound like we actually care about, you know, the environment and stuff. And second, I know you well enough to know when you're hurting. Ah, who cares about that? I was at Friars and I, w I was gonna jump off a bridge, but there was this girl and she... I, I can't find it. I can't find it. You doing all right there, Jules? No, she gave me her number, and I, I can't find it. Why does this always happen to me? God, can I get a break? Calm down. It's okay. I'm sure it's somewhere in this trash heap of mine. Oh, just my luck to meet the most amazing, beautiful girl in the world and lose her number. What are you going to do now? Probably drown myself in bourbon and light myself on fire. That seems a bit dramatic. Trauma's all I have left. Would you be open to something a little less American beauty? What did you have in mind? Come to church with me. Not this again. Come on! What do you have to lose? My dignity. Look at yourself. I think that ship sailed a long time ago. Well, then I have nothing. You're wrong, friend. Just keep your head up high, no matter what trouble comes. Keep your head reaching for the sky. But what if I'm hopeless and there can be no way out? Well, that's what faith is all about. This is ridiculous, preposterous. There is no God above. This is all we have. We're all alone. You can't count on perfect love. Life moves fast. Take control. Don't let it leave you. time if you keep holding on you'll weather through the storm if you have faith in God he'll bring you to the shore to hands lifted up so what are you waiting for Come on, Mark. You can't be serious about all this God stuff. I've never been more serious about anything in my life. You can't tell me you've never felt it. Felt what? The emptiness. The kind of hole in your heart that nothing can ever fill no matter how hard you try. I mean, yeah, but that's, that's... because you're missing something. The biggest something. The kind of thing only God can fill. This is your best life now. Don't let it pass you. God made you perfect how you are There's no need to hesitate His arms are wide open With him you'll fly amongst the stars This is ridiculous, preposterous Could you be any more naive? I don't want to fight, but you can't be right You're God only deceives Life moves fast, take control Don't let it leave you You know it's all gone and you just wasted your time But if you keep holding on You'll weather through the storm If you have faith in God He'll bring you to the shore Just a little time, I think you'll find This is pulling you closer to something we call life inside It's pulling you closer to life 
It's pulling you closer to redefine this thing that we call life. Just get back up, brush the dust, stand strong. church like a Sunday thing though? I don't know if you noticed, but it's Friday. That may be, but a few of us are just going to get together for some music. Dogs. A round or ten of ultimate. I don't know if your church friend want to hang around somebody who smells like vomit and alcohol. <laughs> Obviously you've never smelled these pits. No need for demonstration. Look, if you're really that concerned about it, I'm pretty sure my water's still running. We'll see how I feel. Just think about it. Sure thing. But no promises. Of course not. And if I do go, that doesn't mean I'm joining your church or anything. Never said it did. And... Do you need a ride? It'd be weird if I showed up alone. Don't want people thinking you're weird or anything. First impressions are important. They make up 92% of what people think about you. I don't think that's a proper statistic. I'll spot you gas money. We both know you're not good for it. Get yourself dressed. The bus leaves in five. The shelter. Where do you think the money came from to start that don't shelter? Don't do it, honey. Don't trust a word that comes out of You can't of make a difference in the world. Delicious. I'll a little bit. Hey, I was watching that. This is for your own good. No, it's not. <gasps> The only thing I have left. What about your interviews? I don't think they went so well. And why is that? Because I told them they can take their jobs and shove them up. Caprice! What? It's not like they were gonna hire me anyways. You don't know that. Now we won't know. Just like I'll never know why the guy I met at the bar last night hasn't called me yet. <sighs> I don't even know where to start with that. Not that you can do better speech. Please, I haven't memorized by now. <sighs> Caprice? just got out of one adulterous relationship. Do you really think it's a good idea to jump into another so soon? I'm not like you, Nancy. I don't have some god to live for or to offer child sacrifices to or whatever it is you night freaks do. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I just... I just like feeling loved. Is that so wrong? No. We all have a hole in our hearts that only love can fill. But you're looking for it in all the wrong places. If you would take just a little time, I think you'll find this is pulling you closer to something we call life inside. It's pulling you closer to life. It's pulling you closer to Don't you have to, like, believe in something before you go to church or whatever? We all start somewhere. God will reveal himself to you when you're ready. <laughs> that was nice. Hey! Give me one minute. Mark, you made it. It's good to see you, brother. Who's your friend? This is Julian. Oh, skeptic. Nice to finally meet you. You told them about me? Don't take it personally. We share everything here at New Life. Oh, I don't know. That's Oh, that's okay. nonsense. Oh. Everybody needs a good hug. You could at least buy me dinner first. <laughs> I like him. Hey, make yourself at home. I gotta run, but don't worry. There's plenty of food and love to go around. Well, uh, he's certainly energetic. That's Pete for you. Never stays in one place long enough for his legs to stop moving. Now, come on. We got some ultimate slay.
Give it a few more minutes. I think you're just about there. Huh? What? I'm sorry, what? You're staring at that hot dog like you're trying to kill the pig. It should be cooked any second now. I'm sorry. I just... I'm a little distracted, that's all. What's on your mind? It's just, everyone is so... <laughs> Look at me. Spilling my guts to a teenager. Don't you have friends or an episode of Bachelor to watch? First of all, that's an offensive stereotype. I'm sorry. Second, I have the episode saved on my playlist. I'm watching it when I get home. It's just, everyone here is so happy and nice and I'm just... It makes you feel even more miserable? Yeah. I mean, where are all the judgmental ladies, the uptight men in suits, the... You guys call yourself a church? But I haven't seen one middle-aged woman with a giant hat. Oh, you haven't met Elizabeth yet. She's got to be around here somewhere. Seriously, we're just normal people trying to live life the best way we know how. I knew you were going to say something nice like that. Something obnoxious like that. All part of my secret plan to make you feel horrible about yourself. Well, it, it's working, so... I'm still not hungry, so we can take it. Don't let it go to waste. Actually, I should probably go. We have a concert in a few minutes. Hope to see you there. I know that I'm supposed to be the strong one, but it doesn't feel right for me to be here when I'm broken in here. I know that I do not deserve forgiveness, but the spirit's weighing on my heart. I don't know where to start. Will he promise he'll still love me? Fix this mess of my own making. I'm praying, can he hear me crying out? I'm drowning in this silence, lost to space that falls between. I try to find my balance, but I feel broken so unclean now. Can he forgive? To hear you hurting I see you walk away unchanged But no matter how things change He will always stay the same You could never fall so far That he would leave Cause he'll always be your family No matter how dark it might seem It might seem his arms are open to receive you. I'm drowning in I this silence, lost to space that falls between. I try to find my family. Balance, but I feel the so old is gone. Now. 
will stand as one. Good afternoon, New Life Fam. Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Pete Romero, the lead pastor here at New Life. And if there's one thing that I want you to take away from our time together today, it's this. You are worth so much to God. He has made you with a purpose to do things you can't even imagine for his kingdom. God has seen everything you've ever done, good and bad. He accepts you. He loves you. You are his prized possession. Nothing you've done will decrease the value of you in his eyes. God's never going to give up on you. So don't give up on yourself. Amen. Oh, hey, quick question. Uh, how crazy did I come across to the atheist crowd? Very. Very. Oh, no. I'm, I mean, uh, the normal amount? Typical. New guy finds out I'm the pastor and suddenly forgets how to speak. No, I just, I'm just surprised. That's all. I wasn't expecting this. So. I get that a lot. Not saying that I'm going to start believing in God or anything. Nor would I expect you to. Maybe church isn't so bad after all. Grace, open up! You've been in here all day! And I'm starting to worry! I'm fine! I just need some time alone. You need to move on. You can't wallow forever. It's not healthy. I thought you were supposed to be the one in whom I trust. But now you've gone so far away, left me to gather rest Thought I was supposed to be able to move on But no matter how I try, your memory goes on You came into my life and you left me Without you here to hold my hand, to hear 
in my veins. There's no self to soothe his pain. How long must I stand without you here to hold my hand, to hear your voice and understand why? You've been in here long enough. Tell me. There are some people here to see. Can I at least get dressed first? No. Or? If I leave you in this room, you'll barricade the door. Come in. Caprice, this is Father Montgomery and Father Lawrence from my church. Church? I'm sorry. I don't normally dress like this, but Nancy didn't tell me we had guests. No need to apologize, Miss Caprice. I've brought Father Lawrence here because, well, to be honest, I'm worried about you. I'm fine, really. I just need some time to get back on my feet. I broke up with my fiancé a couple months ago. So... Ooh, Sister Nancy says you were living with at the time, correct? Well, yes, but I don't see how that's... Extramarital relations open the door to all sorts of sin. Drunkenness, sloth, immodesty. Like I said, I'm only trusting like And this we I... don't judge you. How could you know how much you grieve the Lord's spirit? You don't know him. I like to think I'm a pretty good person. Maybe by this world's standards. None of us are good enough by ourselves. We need to learn of him in his ways. I think I'm doing okay, all things considered. Let me ask you this, child. Are you happy with your life right now? No, but... Has alcohol or gluttony or sex ever given you anything more than passing happiness? Well, when you put it like that... If you've tried everything else, then why not give God a chance? Maybe you'll find his way to be better. In fact, we know you will. This is for your own good. Take a leap of faith. God will always be there to catch you. You can do this. I know it's a leap for you, but I'm here. We'll do this together. Is it too late to turn back? No. But if you do, you'll never know the life that could have been found. Hi. It is great seeing you. Welcome to New Life Church, where true life is only one breath away. God loves you. Never forget that. Thanks. Lord. Hi. So good to see you. Who's your friend? This is Julie. First time. Oh, welcome. So glad you decided to join us. Hey, stranger. Didn't expect to see you here. Neither did I. Good morning. And welcome to New Life Church. If you're already a member of our family, then welcome back. For those who are new today, well, we ask that you come to find our little church as your new home. Now, please. Join us in prayer as we pass out our communion. Let us pray. Lord, you are so good to us. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for always being faithful to us. You are so good to us, Daddy God, no matter where we come from. You love us and you accept us just as we are. As we eat this bread and drink this cup, I want you to sanctify us, give us strength, that you wash away our doubts, you wash away our fears, our anger, and our hatred. We ask that you lead us to love each other as you loved us. Baptize us in your Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to meet with me, Pastor Pete. And I apologize again for such short notice. I always have time for my flock. If you ever need anything, you don't hesitate to give me a call. You're an angel. You're so strong, Tom. You keep being that strong witness to your wife. 
She may not see the light yet, but she will. Thank you. Hey, we got Pastor Pete. So oh, hi, lady. Julian, that. One second. Oh, can I call you back? No, it's no problem. All right, God bless you. I know you didn't sneeze. All right, bye. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bother you. Especially if you've got something better to do. It's just... Wait a second. I should really go. No, please sit down. I've got time for you, you know. It's just that I've thought this through a million times, but I... Can't explain these things to you tonight And I And I I don't know what I'm doing And I can't explain it But it feels like brand new life inside For the first time in my life I might feel fine Oh, I see I think I understand Since you came inside you become a different man Yes, you see, it's just the weirdest thing All this pain inside just melts inside of me It's just that I've thought this through a million times but I can't explain these things to you tonight And I, I don't know what I'm doing And I can't explain it But it feels like brand new life inside For the first time in my life I might feel fine Got a reason to keep on going A reason not to play it safe to take this first big step although I am afraid a reason to take things slow a reason to take things fast a reason to keep on holding to the only thing that lasts a reason to keep on going a reason not to play it safe a reason to take this first big step although I am the first time in your life you might feel fine why don't we continue this in my office it's more comfortable than that are you sure it's not a bother i always have time for my flock come on now all right oh what's that smell is that, is that bleach yeah sorry we just cleaned the place uh, you know what they say Cleanliness is close to godliness. So, I'm just trying to be the most like Jesus I possibly can. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, Pete, I... Pastor, no. It's all right. You don't have to correct yourself. You can call me Pete. Well, then, Pete, what I wanted to say is that I, you know, I want to join the church. Would you call that a pleasant surprise? <laughs> Wasn't it just a few weeks ago you called us, uh, and I quote, a uh, bunch of waiver-eating weirdos. <laughs> Mark told you about that? I told you, Julian. We share everything here at New Life. But we don't mind. The things of God often seem like foolishness to those still bound by the world. But see, I don't want to be part of this world. I feel like I've never felt like I was anywhere where I belonged. Like, here, I feel like I could be my best self. Like, like I'm filled with joy, you know? Yeah, dude. Well then, what I'm trying to say is that I want that new life you're always talking about. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. I will have your membership processed by tomorrow.
Wait, that's it? That's it. Now get up here and let me welcome you to the fellowship properly. Whoa. Jeez. Pa Pastor, are you okay? Your hands feel clammy. <laughs> that's hereditary, I'm afraid. Nothing to worry about. You say so. Oh. Ah, holy shit! Now, Julian, you really shouldn't use such filthy language in God's house. But now that you're uh, washed by the blood, my door, such things shouldn't be an issue going forward. Uh, you bit me. You, you bit. I, I thought that'd be rather apparent by now. Oh. Oh. You're a zombie. Uh, but my pastor's a zombie. Now, Julian, we really don't appreciate you using such derogatory language. We prefer to see it the way that the Lord sees it. Dead to our flesh and newly alive in Christ. I don't think that's what he meant. No, I know this is a rough teacher, but those who do not eat of my flesh or drink my blood shall have no part of me. Now, God doesn't speak in riddles or parables, Julian. Uh, and since Jesus isn't here for us to feed off of, uh, well, we have to go off the next best thing, which is his body, the church. No. No, I won't eat people. I won't eat <laughs> sure people. Did. You already have. What? What did you think was in the saints' communion? Wafers? The communion was made of the saints. We've been preparing you for this moment since sick. you first arrived here. I'm going to be sick. No, no, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Force it through your veins now. I'll calm down. Breathe it in. All right, all right. You hold, you hold the old man at God. To the flesh, and is born again in new life. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. She's waking up. I'll go get Pastor Romero. What? What? I want it. What? 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 You're okay. I, but I, uh, Do not uh, be afraid, Julian, for I bring great tidings of joy. <laughs> you have been reborn, made new, truly alive for the first time. Does that mean I am born again? <laughs> Hallelujah. We were worried about you for a bit there, buddy. Thought redemption might be too much for those dry bones of yours. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm just having a little trouble understanding literally anything you're saying right now. That's because the scales are still falling from your eyes, brother. Soon you will see things the way the Lord intended. <laughs> we all have a little trouble throwing away our flesh first. Mm. But your, your faces, the church, they weren't... We all must make certain adjustments to fit in with the world become all things to all men in order that we might save some. Like you. Does that mean I look like you? All things in their own time. Julian! It's great to see you're finally awake, brother. How do you feel? Uh, honestly, a little confused. <laughs> That's to be expected. Mary and Luke, I think our brother's born the same shaft just long enough, no? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, <sighs> Is that better? Yeah, much. But I don't understand what I'm doing here, why I was tied up, or what the fudging heck is going on! <laughs> F fudging heck is going on! Fudging heck! Why? Fudging? Why can't it's I? It's like I told you, Julian. Now that you're washed in the blood, the spirit won't allow you to defile its temple. I know you probably have a lot of questions. First, I have one for you. How do you feel? I already answered that. You gave me a fleshy response. I want you to look deep, search your soul, find the answer. Forget about all the stuff you think you know. How do you feel right now in this moment? Better than I felt since I can even remember. <laughs> and your depression? The anxiety? God! Hey, it's the fuck floor! It's the God of the highest! <laughs> Great to hear that, Julie. Every worry, every care I ever had, it's God! I mean, we gotta tell people about this. This is incredible! I mean, we, we gotta let them know so that they can experience this too. No, no 
that wouldn't be enough. I, we have to show them. I gotta bite somebody. I gotta, I gotta bite some. Ow! I'm just trying to help. I don't we know, to... Julian. <sighs> but for once in my life, I can do something. But first, you need to calm down. Why? Why can't I just be a little bit hungry? Yes. <laughs> Please, just let me take a little bite. What's the worst that can happen? Soon you feel your hunger grow, and it'll come sooner than you know. Then all you'll want to do is take a bite, take a bite. As you feel your stomach growl, and no food will calm it down, then you've nothing left but to take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. saying that Jesus was a... Of course he was! When Christ died, the dead rose from their graves and walked around the city. What does that sound like to you? Then, three days later, God brought him back in the same way and gave his disciples the power to do the same. When Christ came back to life, the unbelievers ran to hide. They feared that he would take a bite, take a bite. And the cowards turned to mobs, torches held high, they turned on God. History repeats when you take a bite, take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. See, Julian, there's no rushing God, regardless of how hungry you might be. But there are so many more things I don't understand. Uh, 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 let's not bother ourselves with trivial things like knowledge. <laughs> What's important is how we move forward. Get ready, Julian. We're taking you on your first crusade. All right. Yeah. Are you safe? Well, what are you talking about? All in due time. Come on. We don't want to be late. All right. Like a renaissance fair? Bare souls, not buddies. Bear souls, not bodies. Bear souls, not bodies. Bear souls, not bodies. Bear souls, not bodies. You want to be right with God, don't you? You came to church with me, wasn't it? And this is what you have to do. But I don't really get it. Bear souls, not bodies. Bear souls, not bodies. There's still time for you to turn from your wicked ways. What are you talking about? Sun whore. How dare you? I apologize for my flock. But it's difficult for them to see such blatant sin on display. Sin? What are you talking about? Your body is God's temple, and here you are, flaunting it for the whole world to see. It should be kept pure to worship God, not bear it to the sun. Enjoy the sun while you can, because all you feel is heat where you're going. 
Bear souls, not bodies. Bear souls, not bodies. Unfortunately, the hearts of the fallen are hardened to the Lord's message. All we can do is pray that the Spirit intervenes before time runs out. Bear souls, not bodies. 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 First round, it was hard to. I don't think I'm cut out for this. You're one of us, aren't you? Yeah, now all I can think about is how much I miss the sun on my skin without being in pain. <sighs> the sacrifice we made to be washed by the blood. <laughs> What's wrong with the sun anyway? Father Warren says it was humanity's first idol. Pagans left sacrifices to the sun to ensure a fruitful harvest. We may not do that anymore, but worship takes many forms. I know he says all that, but I just don't think that. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Can't let him like that. No, 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 no. Uh, how is this a crusade? Well, it's not really. The crusade is Friday. What we're doing now is how we get people to come to it. By uh, handing out water bottles at the beach? You'd be surprised how receptive people can be when you give them something first. Doesn't that seem a little bit deceptive? Shouldn't we, you know, just talk to them? Oh, Julian, you have so much to learn. Why don't you hand that out so you can see what I mean? I guess, but to who? What about her? <sighs> All right. Julian, fancy meeting you here. What, are you following me or something? What? No. Why Why would you even say that? Relax, kidding. How you been? Oh. I haven't seen you since. No, I, I, I've been good. So, what brings you to my side of the beach? Well, I saw you over there, and, um... Yeah. I didn't just come over here to catch up. Oh, you didn't know? No, uh, I just wanted to say that you look hot. Excuse me. Really, really sweaty. <laughs> if you're trying to hit on me, you're doing better the first time. No, um, you just look like you could use a drink. Okay. You know, you never said you couldn't hit on me. Well, that's not exactly why I came over here. Do you have a second to talk? Can you choose? But all the time in the world. You know, I always thought that way, but... Have you ever been to church? Oh, you're not one of those judgy church types, are you? Because I already met your friends over at the beach. My friends? I'm not with them. I just came over here, especially because the world could be really, really hard sometimes, especially for someone like you. Someone like me? Someone, someone like us, all alone, trying to make it through hard times, especially when things that we used to depend on, like Blackwater, fail us. At the end of the day, we're just people trying to belong. Oh, what Julian is trying to say is that we're having a service at our church this Friday, and we hope you come. Mm. Yeah. The invitations on the inside of the lake. You gonna be there? Well, of course, I wouldn't miss it. Mm -hmm. I'll have to find a reason to make it. That could have gone worse. And if I hadn't stepped in, it would have. You have to control your hunger. But if I was just able to. Come on. Well, well. If it isn't the false prophet. Well, howdy, Antichrist. You're on to talk. Still harassing peaceful civilians, I see. What are you doing? Caprice? There's nothing peaceful about human sacrifice. You know, that's not what they're doing, Lawrence. Ignorance is no excuse for them, and it won't be for you. 
It's funny, I was going to say the same thing about you. <laughs> well, as the scripture says, men will reject you because of me. And by that standard, it would seem that only one of us is truly doing the Lord's command. Enjoy the sun. What was that all about? Vampires, am I right? Wait, vam vampires? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Pete hates them even more than the wolves. Wolves? You guys are seriously gonna have to catch me up. One step at a time. And that starts with handing out a water bottle without putting your foot in your mouth. Or their foot, for that matter. I wasn't actually gonna do it. You were a much better liar when you were human. Really digging the new threads. You should. I spent a lot on this bad boy. Yeah? What does Puritan Chic go for these days? The low, low price of one soul. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. I might have to look into getting some of my own. Like you already have. Yeah. You never struck me as the, um. The what? How do I say this? Uh, the brainwashed religious type? Yeah. yeah. One, I could say the same thing about you. Yeah. Yeah, you could. I guess we were just looking for something to believe in. <sighs> Can't say I expected it to be like this. Right? Like vampires and zombies? I mean, a YA novel? <laughs> If we were, I think there'd be a few less sermons and a couple more sex scenes. Dude, you can't talk about that. We're gonna get in trouble. What, they ban fun too? No, just um, dancing and uh, card games and uh, yeah, laughter, happiness. Oh. Wait, do you have fangs? Yes, I do. Can I see them? Well, no, they only please. come out when I, Can, they I, only really come out when I need them. them. No, please. it doesn't literally, please. I literally please. can't please. show you. It doesn't work like that. I, what are you doing? Nothing. This isn't what it um, looks like. Oh, isn't it? You know what Father Lawrence would say about associating with people like him. But we were just talking. Sure you were. Come on, Caprice. Let's see what the others have to say about this. Wait here. Where are you going? To get Father Lawrence. Nancy, this isn't really necessary, is it? We were just talking! Not a bad haul today, brother. You should be proud. How do we know if it worked? We'll see who comes on Friday. Mark, could you take Julian's water the rest of the way? There's, uh, something we need to discuss. Sure thing, Pastor. What is this about, Pastor? I'm so sorry, Father. Sit I with me, daughter. I need you to understand why what you did was wrong. Father, I don't understand. Julian and I were just talking. Is there some commandment against friends I don't know about? It's not so much about talking or, or friendship, Julian. Then what is it about? Principle. The zombies are heathens, simple beasts who pervert the, the gospel with their whims and feelings. But Julian isn't like that. He's different. You're young. I know you don't understand our ways yet. I know you don't know about this, but... It's been this way for thousands of years. You should have heeded my warnings, Caprice. You should have listened. That's what's wrong with you young people today. You don't listen. But I didn't know. Truth does not depend on your knowledge. On Judgment Day, the Lord won't be merciful because you bat your eyes and say you didn't know. As the word says, even the rocks cry out, leaving the heathens without excuse. But how can we make them understand the truth if we don't speak to them? Unless you hate your father and mother, you have no part of me. Those are the words of Jesus himself. I don't think God has not called you to think. He has called you to obey. But father! You must be joking. I can't believe I caught you seeing her. She's a vampire, a bloodsucker with no heart to care about you. They despise us for a thousand years with nothing of them but war. They're soulless, so keep 
Everyone you trust only looks like us. We're the chosen, blessed with power to save the world from them. They don't know God, they think he's bound by arbitrary rules. They will save us, so stay away from him. Our fates are bound. Atonement? What? Kathy, what does he mean by atonement? Heathen. Nancy, can you please tell me? Thank God. Montgomery, what is going on? I tried to talk him out of it, Caprice. I'm sorry. Talk him out of what? It'll be over before you know it. What do you mean? Bring the repentant. The what? He means you. I don't understand. What is happening? Children, before us stands a sinner, as we all are. As we all are. She stands in the presence of God Almighty, guilty of associating with those who scoff at truth. But he's just an old friend. I didn't know. Ignorance is no excuse. As the word says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And so we will be with ignorance if we allow it to go unpunished. Now. Sister Caprice will be punished according to our tradition. Father Montgomery, if you would. I wish there was another way. Sinners too often forget the grace that is offered to them and the punishment that awaits those who do not please God. So, we expose the sinner to the sun and pray that she would turn away from her wicked ways before the fires of hell consume her. Approach the altar. To cleanse you of your sins, I rebaptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the blood of Christ cleanse you from your sin. And ours as well. To remind us of the three days our Lord spent in the grave, the sinner will now be laid upon the altar, where she will be exposed to the sun until it passes beyond the horizon. No, 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 please! Only then will her sins be purged. And our fellowship be pure. You can't do this to me, please! 
Norman. Norman. Let me go, please. I've learned my lesson. Quiet, sir. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I swear. Montgomery, please make it so. It'll all be over. <laughs> And so, with the wolves at his gate, Zebediah Romero made a decision that would alter zombie history forever. He took on himself... Looks like your plan's finally coming together. Well, that it is, but uh, the presence of this priest complicates things a bit. You should just drive a stake through her heart. Heretic. Let's not resort to the vicious tactics of the wolves, shall we? Just don't understand why we need this Julian. It's like I told you when Mark first came to me about it. If there is a wolf disguised as a member of one of my flock, Julian is just the kind of sheep to help draw them out. He's skeptical, he's zealous, he's uninitiated. There's too much of a wild card to be trusted. Don't be so anxious, Luke. Have a little faith. How was re-education training? Pretty sure my brain is chicken noodle soup now. At least it's a good source of protein. Are your eyes supposed to hurt this much? I'm pretty sure that's half the punishment. Yeah, well, it's cool and unusual. Did you learn anything? I think so. Though most of it was like bad science fiction. Life is a bad science fiction. Didn't you know that? If I didn't know that before, I certainly do now. This is one thing I didn't understand, was the wolves. Are they werewolves or actual wolves or alien wolves? If only, I'll explain on the way. Where are we going? Trust me, after the day you've had, I'm sure you could use a drink. Yeah, but isn't that like against the rules? We eat human flesh weekly and you're concerned about a 5% alcohol content? I just don't want to have to sit through another seminar. Trust me, where we're going, nobody will know. Wait a second, aren't you like 16? Just shut up and drive. No one's gonna find you here, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I've been coming to Friars for years now and I've yet to see anyone. But you're a priest, isn't that like legal? Depending on who you ask. Can I see it? Some things are better left in the dark ages. Like Father Lawrence, you would disagree. Father Lawrence is a zealous man. His interpretation of the scriptures leaves a lot to be desired. Why don't you say something about him? Politics. Do enough good. Make enough noise. And maybe you can make some real difference. Careful, starting to sound like a zombie. Or worse off, a wolf. Wow. This is amazing. What is that stuff? Uh, it's a family recipe. It helps with you. You are not like the others, are you, Father? Please, call me Eric. All right, Eric, answer me this. Hold that thought. <laughs> I think you'll be more interested to see who just walked in the door. Did you set this up? God works in mysterious ways. You certainly do. What are you looking around for? A friend of mine. I told him we'd meet him here. I thought you said no one was going to see us. Don't worry, he's on our side. Our side? What are you talking about? Benny! Over here! Hey, what's the holdup? You came here to meet a vampire? Don't worry, he's one of the good ones. There were good ones? You have so much to learn. Oh, boy. Julian. We have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Benny is so nice to see you. You too, Dad. It's been too long. Wait. Dad? He's your father? But you're a vampire. It's a long story. Ooh. Benny was a rebellious teen. 
Not even one sentence in and you're already throwing me under the bus. In Benny's more rebellious years, she decided the way to really stick it to her dad is to join the dark side. And here we are. See? Not that long. Yes, but still just as embarrassing. So you grew up in a tunnel. Yep. Now you're a zombie. I'm pretty sure we've already established that. So you're saying it's a cure? Not unless you call a stake to the heart a cure. What? Benny! What? She wanted to know. So the only way to cure a vampire is stake the heart. What about a zombie? A bullet to the head does a pretty good job. <sighs> so how did you children's bodies don't really take to the change? So we typically wait till your 13th birthday to confront them. I got cold feet the night before, snuck out, and here we are. But our churches hate each other. How have they not punished them for you yet? <laughs> Easy, bitch. Think I got pregnant. It slipped up. You blindsided me. It's not like I had a heads up. I didn't know what to say. You could have told them that I joined a cult or become a drug addict. Maybe then I wouldn't have had to shove pillows under my clothes for nine months and don't even get me started on the fortune adoption papers. It was better than telling them the truth. I suppose so. So that's what you meant by creating real change. You want to make peace with new life so you don't have to hide anymore. Sounds about right, yeah. But change doesn't happen overnight. For that, we need people on our side. People like us. People who see how the current environment is tearing us all apart. All of the same. Deep down, we all believe the same things. I know I don't know you well enough to ask for your help or anything, but I... Yeah, what, whatever you need. I don't, I don't know. Caprice, think about it. If the churches stop hating each other, we could start seeing each other again. No more hiding. And you can take me on that date you never called me about? And after that, who knows? You know, all I know is that I never had a connection to anyone like I did you. I would do anything to be with you. And tell me it was a savage. They're having a moment. I would too, but it's too dangerous. Why? They almost killed me just for talking to you, Julia. What do you think they'd do if they found out I was working with you? I'm sorry, Eric, I can't. Caprice, wait! I'll go talk to her. This wasn't what I meant when I said we needed to try something new. Really? Because zombification is exactly what I meant. Shut up! You know, I was already dead inside, so all I have to do is buy the curtains. How can you joke about this? I don't know, it just... I thought I would never see you again. You could have called me back! I would have answered! You didn't have to go all... Night of the Living Dead on me. I don't know if you noticed, but I was pretty drunk the night you came here. Yeah. Of course. I'm sorry about that. So you're saying this is all... How so? Well, if you had called me back, I wouldn't have gone to church with Nancy, and then none of this would have so you're saying this is fake? What's it gonna take to discourage you? Something a little bit more scary than vampires. What happened? After the church found out we talked, they um, tied me to a coffin outside for seven hours. But watching an 18-hour documentary is bad. I'm so sorry. I don't want you to have to go through that again. It will, if that's what it takes. No, please. I'm not worth that. Yes, you are. I know this doesn't make sense, but when I look at you, it's like, I know everything's going to be OK. I feel like I can't do anything. I feel that way, too. I'd given up hope that there was one out there could part the clouds and leave the blue sky there I used to believe that I had seen it all but then you looked inside I never once believed that it was possible 
think I live inside a fantasy And I never want you to leave Cause in your eyes I find my wonder And I find it's there to stay And when you smile I'm torn asunder But we have to start somewhere. Benny will know what to do. Wah! 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 Ah! This can't be happening to me. Nope. No. Nope. Can't be happening. Not today. No. What? What? Whoa, man! Ah! What's wrong? I just heard you scream. Oh, uh, what the H-E double hockey stick's happening to me? Oh, man. I thought it was something serious. Uh, this is serious! No. That's just the rod. The what? No, it is coming on a little sooner than usual. No. The back The what? Have you been doing something you're not supposed to? No. Of course not. Why would you say that? No matter. 
This is to be expected. <laughs> to be expected? My flesh is literally ripping off my bones right now? What do you mean, to be expected? Didn't Pastor Pete tell you? Tell me what? There's a war within yourself Between life and death Flesh to which you died Wants control inside Wait too long And your faith will die What do I do? Wash it away with the blood of Christ Cover your scars and your flesh will hide Don't let them see what's underneath your disease How is that possible? You have been washed in the blood, brother. Oh, isn't it beautiful? The stench of new life. Is that why this place always stinks? You got it. I'm not sure I understand why not embrace the truth. Is this picture perfect faith is what fills the pews. Live your best life now and embrace forever. Wash it away with the blood of Christ. Cover your scars and your flesh will hide. Don't let them see what's underneath your disease. just as human as everyone else. What am I wearing? Only the best in zombie apparel. Why does it have shoulder pads? Extra strength padding for only those with sinner-sized crosses to bear. <laughs> Wait, really? No. But it looks totally rad, right? I mean, with this on, nobody will be able to notice your rapidly rotting flesh. Better bring this too, just in case. Bring it where? To the revival, of course. Uh, is it Friday already? We better get there before your girlfriend does. Uh, my girlfriend? The girl from the beach? She was looking forward to meeting you there. Right. Her. I thought you'd be more excited. I mean, it's your first missionary date! Jeez, that video must have really did a number on you. Yeah. Alright. Well, give me some space. 
the old majestic chin strap needs some trimming. Yeah, and uh, I'm not wearing this, by the way. Way too big. What? But it was my dad's. What do I have to do this to prove you're loyal? Is there another way to do that? This is our most sacred ritual. How can there be a better way than this? What if I do it wrong? Then you're not one of us. And what happens then? Oh, Amen. Amen. Well, first, I'd like to thank our deacons for facilitating this very special event today. Thank you. And thanks, too, to the mothers of the candidates for being here to witness this momentous event in their children's lives. And now, we undertake that most blessed of sacraments, confirmation. These Christ followers before you have now reached the biblically ordained age required to undergo the change. Now. If our candidates would please step forward. I can't do this, Nancy. You can and you will. What happens if I don't? Remember the coffin? Yeah. Worse. Today, we seal these young believers with the mark of Christ. Salvation given only to true believers. Or their flesh may fight the change that comes from being washed by the Holy Spirit. Their hearts will be forever healed. Sister Caprice, would you do the honors? Yes. What are you waiting for? It's Father Montgomery. Who cares? Well, he should be here. Sister Caprice, we don't have all day. back for seconds, I see. I don't know what it is, but I'm starving. I even ate before I came, so it wouldn't take too much. But... No worries. There's plenty to go around. I see that. You color me impressed. What do you think of your first revival? Oh, so far, so good. Something the matter? Uh, it's just, have you seen Benny? It wouldn't be like her to miss something like this. I have not. You know, if I do see her, I will let her know you're looking. Thanks. Oh. How are things going with our newest recruit? Uh, good. I just think she thinks we're on a date or something. Great! Great? Whatever gets them to the altar, am I right? Do you mean this or this? Cause... Either. Whichever one brings them to Jesus. And hey, if things go really well, I'll help officiate the wedding for you. Took you so long, Jules. I've had about a half a dozen offers for a private prayer session since we've begun. Oh, uh, you know church singles. I mean, they see one beautiful woman and all they hear is wedding bells. Don't think I'm gonna let you forget that you just called me beautiful. Do you mind if I? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why else would I get such a big plate if it weren't to share? Mm. That's good, but some. Three parts ignorance, two parts bliss. Fine. I have my ways of getting it out of you. What do you say we get out of here and have a private prayer session of our own? And suddenly full of the Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, don't you think we should stay for the revival? Don't be silly, we won't be gone long. We can make it a first one. Uh, what are you doing? Whatever you want me to. Um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hmm. You want me? No, I want you. I just... We're, we're both consenting adults. What more could you need? I just don't think Pastor would approve. What does it matter what he thinks? It's just, it's really important to me, okay? I'm not that pretty enough. Is that it? No, that's not it. You're beautiful. It's just that... Then what are you waiting for? Well, um, I was hoping that maybe we could, um... Nobody has to know. I won't tell if you won't. You don't need me 
to make yourself feel good enough. Who said I knelt? You did, just not with words. I didn't have to come here, you know. No, you didn't. And God knows you could have any guy in the world, so why me? You're cute. What other reason do I need? I call BS. You came here because deep down, maybe, just maybe, you know that you need something more than looks and sex to fill that hole inside you. I don't need to listen to this. I think that you do. Okay, let's say I do. How do I find it? You ask God. What if he won't accept me? He will. I promise. What do I have to do? Well, first you close your eyes and then bow your head. Or you could look up to the heavens if that makes you feel more comfortable. And you pray. I don't know what to say. Well, just repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I admit that I am a sinner. I admit that I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And change me from the inside out. Change me from the inside out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, uh, what did you just... Don't worry. It's okay. I know it's confusing and scary right now, but when you wake up, you're going to feel like a brand new person. Okay, you two. Time to... Julian! What did you do? I made my first disciple. No. You killed her is what you did. What? No. She ate the communion bread. I saw her do it. She really, she really wanted it too, right? She really did. And then she prayed. What? Uh, okay, we could just get past the pee, and we can- No, Julian. You help me get rid of the body, and then we get you out of here. Before the wolves come for you. The wolves? I thought that was a scary ghost story Pastor Pete made up to keep zombies in line. Right? No. They're real. And if they find out what you did, it'll be a bullet in your skull. They'll- I'll explain later. Run! Huh? The wolves are here! Deacons, to your stations! What's going on? I hope you just say it would never come. What day? Caprice, I know I was hard on you, but it was because I cared. What day, Nancy? You need to run! Why don't you ever tell me what's going on? Because there's no time. Listen to me very carefully. There's a tunnel in the basement that will lead you to a safe room. You need to hide there until it's safe. Then I'll come and find you. But how will I? Run! The same question. Are the wolves after you too? What did we do? Nancy said there's a safe room or something down here. But we can't check every room. Can we pick one and pray for the best? Uh, that one? As good as any. What is this place? Looks like weapon storage. Or a torture chamber. Or both. Doesn't seem very safe. You think? Yeah. Let's just hope that door holds. Um, maybe we can... Gosh darn it, it's bolted to the floor! I was told the tongue purifies first. Uh, so, um... Why are the wolves after you? Do they need a reason? Guess not. I killed some. What?! I didn't mean to, I just... Thought I was doing the right thing. So did I. Wait, did you? No, but I almost turned a couple kids because I didn't want to rock the boat. What kind of monster does that? Vampire, I suppose. 
just wish none of this had ever happened to us. Me too. I feel it closing in, this unwanted sin that keeps me feeling insane. I feel like such a fool, used just like a tool in some disgusting game. There's nothing I can do My body is my tomb But who's this calling my name? I can't do enough To deserve God's love Still I hear him calling my name This current rushes over my head They say that I'm living, but I know that I'm dead. I know that I'm dead. Your voice echoes through my hollow soul, and I'm lost in expectation. Your whispers fill these empty holes. Can you save me from this monster? must die but still I'm so afraid As I stand so near I am gripped by fear but you still call my name My sins surrounding me I pound these nails so deep but you still call my name Alive or whatever it is I am. Julian, we can... What do we do? I don't know. I 
I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to fight our way out of this. I don't know how to use this thing. They don't know that. Just go hide by the door, and I'll give you a signal, okay? I can't believe you let me kill the girl. How many times do I have to tell you I'm sorry? Tell that to her parents. Uh, it, it won't. Freeze! Tie them up. Don't move, I will shoot. Alright, let's see who these wolves are. Any last words? Benny? Eric? Hey guys. Hope he doesn't find out this way. You tried to kill me! And me! No, we were only trying to scare you. By shooting at us? I know how all this must look, but you just have to- I don't it. have to do any- Julius! So, that was your point all along. You just wanted to lull us into a false sense of security so you could stab us in the back? And that wouldn't even make sense, considering your- your- Shut up! Julian, calm down! You're scaring her. You're scaring me. I'm sorry. It's just that, for once in my life, I thought that somebody was on my side. I thought, for once in my life, the world wasn't against me. I'm on your side. I've always been on your side. We can't do this alone. And you don't have to. All we want to do is to set you both free. By killing us? No. I mean, that was part of the plan. Not really. You don't understand. All I understand is that we trusted you. Was anything you even said true? All of it. Except for the backstory. So you weren't a rebellious teenage zombie? Nope, 100% wolf from the day I was born. You lied to us. Would you have believed us if we had? Probably not. But everything else was the truth, just not the whole truth. Death really is the only way to cure vampirism. And zombification. But what they don't tell you is that death isn't the end. Are we seriously listening to these psychopaths right now? Hold on, Julius. Let me finish. If you have the proper instrument, and a willing victim volunteer right if a zombie or a vampire willingly sacrifices what they become they'll be reborn in the new life of what god intends for his people what kind of instrument do you need are you seriously buying into this right now don't you see julian this is exactly what we've been taught from the beginning the old man dies to the flesh and is reborn in the new life of christ i already died once that wasn't your choice it was forced upon you God wants your heart. Are you listening to yourself right now? What kind of instrument do you need? A stake. Made from Jerusalem cypress. And a bullet made from rusted Roman iron. It's a crucifix. You cannot possibly be considering this right now, the priest. This isn't life, Julian. At least it's something. And it could be so much more. Death isn't the end. It's the beginning. You don't care about her. All you are doing is poisoning her and trying to get her to- ah! Caprice, no! Why did you do that? Because, Julian, living a half-life is no life at all. But we just met each other. We had our whole lives We still do. If you join me. Caprice. Caprice, no. Caprice. Caprice. How long will it take to work? I don't know. No one's ever done it before. You mean to tell me that you told her to kill herself and you don't even know if it will work? The texts are clear. But you've never seen it happen. No. No monster has ever let us get this close before. Let me moan again. Say goodbye to your daughter, Eric. Julian, this won't bring her back. It'll be justice. And what if you're wrong? Then you'll always wonder, what would happen if you took the leap? But, but I can just wait here. Wait for her to wake up. And then it might be too late. They'll come for you. They'll come for us. Your best chance is to untie us, and then we- No. Julian, you need to think about this. I thought about it. You are not going anywhere near her. You have to trust us. I don't. 
but I know she was right about one thing, and that was living half a life is living no life at all. Next to a friend. Julian, wait! Well, that wasn't ideal. Let's hope the transformation happens quickly. Are you sure we did the right thing? Julian was a small price to pay to make the wolves pay for all they've done to us. And what about Rosalind? Rosalind played the part she needed to play, right? I can't believe you let him get away like that! What was I supposed to do? He took out half the elders! You were supposed to try harder! But I didn't want to- Look, we're gonna, you're gonna have plenty of time to think about this when you're tied atop the coffin, after we get Caprice back! What do you think they'll do next when they find us? We're gonna set the stake like in Salem. It worked. Why not? Really brief. How is this possible? I, I saw you die. I told you, you just had to have a little faith. Ahem. I hate to ruin the moment, but we're still tied up here. Right! Sorry about that. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got like a You need to go now. What do we do? We can fight. What about the tunnels? Tunnels? Aren't we in the tunnels? Yes, but these tunnels were built on top of other tunnels that were built hundreds of years ago. They go between the churches. These tunnels lead by a new life. But when they leave, they probably won't take to check. It could work. We'll follow your lead. It's about to happen. Benny, get them inside. I'll stand. Sure thing, Dad. Come on, go! The door won't hurt for much longer. Just in time, am I right? Dad, come on! Benny, you have to. Not without you. We did it. We made it out. Not all of us. What do you need us to do? Go home. He's my father. I can take care of this myself. Not a chance. He saved our lives. We owe him this much. Just tell us what to do and we'll do it. Whatever you have to. Just know, as soon as you walk through those doors, there's no going back. You're wolves now, and the monsters will stop at nothing to kill you. What do we do? Just close your eyes and trust your instincts. They'll tell you what to do. How do you know that? You're wolves now. That's what we do. Each morning, feel the sunlight hit my eyes. I guess that means it's time to get up and do it again. Put on a plastered smile, reapplying a chokehold on my life. It's so hard to move when nothing ever changes. Tired of grinding, I'm losing my mind. Just go. What's it all for? What's it all for? Why do I keep going every day? I feel I'm draining life and losing track of time. What's it all for? What's it all for? I feel like I'm dying every day. I can't escape this hell. 
Even when I'm doing well, watch out world, I'm falling I can't even take a second Close my eyes, take a deep breath Everyone's in a rush, no one knows how to take it slow They tell me to quit my moping And take control over my life But how can I move on when I'm just feeling so Tired of grinding, I'm losing my mind Just gotta keep going, find purpose in time What's it all for, what's it all for? Why do I keep going every day? I feel I'm draining life And losing track of time What's it all for? What's it all for? I feel like I'm dying every day I can't escape this hell Even when I'm doing well Watch out world, I'm falling I cannot remember the last time that I felt well I feel like my whole life is forgotten on the shelf They tell me to find my purpose but I'm just barely surviving I'm barely surviving I'm so slowly drowning I cannot remember the last time that I felt well I feel like my whole life is forgotten on the shelf they tell me to find my purpose, but I'm just barely surviving.